In April 2017, the FCC completed an incentive auction that sold portions of the 600 MHz band to mobile data providers. Once mobile data providers begin transmitting in your city, you'll need to take action immediately, as you will no longer be permitted to operate wireless audio systems in the restricted portions of the 600 MHz band. In response to these changes, Sure has developed the US 600 MHz conversion tool, which is available in free downloads of Sure's wireless workbench software at Sure.com. This tool permanently converts your devices to frequency ranges that align with the new regulations, allowing you to continue operating within the US. In this video, we'll walk you through the conversion process for Sure wireless systems. Before starting, here are some tips to ensure a smooth conversion. Connect all the devices you want to convert to the same network. Install the latest version of Wireless Workbench and the Sure Update utility. Update the firmware on all network devices and on all portable devices to the following versions or later. Start by opening the conversion tool from the Help menu in Wireless Workbench. Carefully read the conversion criteria to determine if you need to convert your devices. Select View Applicable Devices and let the tool automatically discover the devices on the network. Only network devices that can be converted will be displayed in the list. Next, select a conversion option for each device. Choosing Convert will remove the restricted bands of the 600 MHz tuning range from your device. Choose Do Not Convert for devices you want to remain unchanged or want to convert at a later time. Remember, device conversion is permanent and cannot be reversed. If you've already converted your networked gear, select Skip to go to the next step and convert your portable transmitters and receivers. Select Apply to finalize your conversion choices. Your device will reboot and the new band name ending with the letter A will appear in the band listing. Review the confirmation screen to make sure all your network devices have been successfully converted. In the event of an error, choose the back option and try again for any devices that have not been converted. Before retrying a conversion, check your network connections and make sure that all software and firmware have been updated to the latest versions. Alternatively, you can check the conversion status by viewing the tuning band of your device. If an A appears after the tuning band, your device has been converted. When you have finished converting your networked devices, the next step is to convert your portable transmitters or receivers. Remember to have the latest firmware installed and make sure that your batteries are charged. By design, any converted networked device with an infrared port can be used to update any portable regardless of product family or model number. Start by enabling conversion mode for a network device to use it as a conversion station. It's okay to enable multiple devices. The display of the device confirms that conversion mode is enabled and ready. Turn on your portable and align it with the IR port on the networked device. Hold for three to six seconds. When the conversion is complete, the device will appear in the converted devices list. Your portable will reboot, and the new band name ending with the letter A will appear in the band listing. Select Next to disable conversion mode. Review the conversion report to verify that all devices have been converted. Reports from multiple instances of Wireless Workbench can be imported into a single file for archiving. Select the Reports menu anytime you wish to share, import, or export files or if you want to view the report at a later time. To finish, fill out the form to submit your conversion report to Sure. Once we receive the form, we'll send you compliance labels listing the new tuning information for your converted devices. Labels are provided at no charge and will help you track the conversion status of the devices in your inventory. You'll receive an email confirmation and your label should arrive in seven to 10 business days. For more information about the 600 MHz auction, visit our website.